this is uh, example five of chapter 11. And this is basically part two of that uh, problem in uh, example four. In example four, we placed 12 feet of sandy fill on top of a soft clay layer. And in this example, we're going to calculate what will happen if we remove that sandy fill after ultimate or the primary consolidation settlement uh, has been uh, fully achieved. Okay. So basically we're removing loading from the clay and calculate the rebounding in this case. And the test data, by the way, are given from example four. So these data basically are uh, based on samples before the uh, sandy field was placed. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is to calculate this initial effective stress at the middle of the clay layer before we remove that uh, sandy field. So this is 12 feet of sandy field already placed. Okay. So the initial stress And this is with that 12 feet of sandy fuel. So this is after the consolidation settlement has been achieved, fully achieved. So at the middle of the clay layer, this sigma naught prime consists of the contribution from that 12 feet of sandy fuel. So it's 12 times gamma m. So that's the moist unit weight of the sandy field plus 10 feet of saturated clay. Okay, so 10 times, for saturated clay, we can use a buoyant unit weight to calculate the effective stress. So gamma saturated minus gamma water. Again, this is the buoyant unit weight, gamma b or gamma prime. And if you're substituting these unit weights, so 12 times 115, plus 10 times um, 112.4 minus 62.4. Okay. So the initial effective stress is 1880 PSF. Okay. So that's the stress before we remove that sandy field. Then the change in effective stress sigma prime is negative 12 times 115. Okay. So that's basically the stress change if you remove that 12 feet of sandy field. So we use negative here to indicate that this is uh, we're removing loads. So it's 1380 PSF pound per square foot. Then the final effective stress sigma F prime is basically sigma naught plus the change. And this is 1880 minus 1380, and this is 500 PSF. So this is a uh, final stress after, uh, this is final, after you remove that sandy field. We have this uh, initial and final stress values. And then to calculate the consolidation settlement, so remember, the consolidation settlement as C is H over one plus E naught. And this is unloading. So we're going to use the recompression index because clay is going to follow that recompression curve when you unload it. So the slope is CS log 10 of sigma F prime over sigma naught prime. Okay. We already calculated these two stress values and we know the CS, the recompression index 0.03. And then for these two values, H and E. So H is the thickness of the entire consolidating layer. And in this example, this H is approximately 20 feet. Okay. We know that this 20 feet is the thickness before you put, out, put that sandy field. And to be more accurate, the new height is 20 minus basically the change due to primary consolidation. So this value is basically as C calculated from example four. So if you want to be very accurate uh, regarding the thickness, or you can just use 20 and uh, the final answer will be very close.
So that SE from example four is uh, 0.949 feet. Okay, so this is 20 minus 0.949. And this is 19.051 feet. So that's the basically the thickness of this consolidating layer. And E naught, okay. so E naught, we're given this E naught, this is from example four. Okay. Example four. Again, this is basically the data before you're putting sandy field on top. Okay. So the new void ratio for this rebounding calculation for this example is 1.4, then minus that delta E we calculated from example four. Okay. So this is delta E from example four. So that's the void ratio change due to primary consolidation. And this is 1.382. Okay. Again, um, if you just uh, want uh, a quick calculation you can use simply use 20 for H and 1.4 for E naught, and the final settlement will be very close. Okay. But to be very accurate, we can account for these changes uh, when doing this rebounding calculation. So with these values, then it's new SC. So this um, SC value, for example, five is 19.051 divided by one plus 1.382, okay. and then CS is uh, 0.03, okay. so that's the recompression index, log 10 of sigma F 500 over sigma naught is 1880. Okay. And you're going to get a negative value because you're removing load. So this is going to be negative 1.38 feet. So the layer rebound, if you remove that layer, that sandy field on top. Okay. And again, you can check if you replace, if you use H equals to 20 and E naught equals to 1.5, you see uh, these two values are used uh, you will get fairly close SC value as well. So SC will approximately be 0.138 feet as well. Okay. Um, so it's these two are basically very, very close. Okay. So that is part two of the same problem presented in example four. So in this part, we're removing, again, removing that sandy field after the primary consolidation was fully achieved.